I believe that if Bioware was less, um, less concerned with having a lot in their game and having more just good stuff, then I think they, things would go a lot better. There's a quest here. Is that? Yes. The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the cat sent back was his badge and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. I can imagine how terrifying that was for a child. What frightened me was seeing how helpless my parents felt. All our leaders were confused and fearful. The terror made us hesitate. That's when the cat struck. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. Thank, thank you. Oh, I just got to talk to all these people then. There's, what is that? Solar amplifier. All right, we'll just we'll just kind of go bit by bit here. There's so much stuff to do here. Yeah, I believe that like Bioware. It's okay. So I should say that it's hard to turn a ship that big um, very quickly. And in the case of Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect Andromeda, they had this set up long before we knew what these games were. You know, you have to set up these systems and, and get, kind of create a an outline of how these games will work. And I believe that they decided to go with this more open world feel and have a lot of stuff to do in the game. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is that came at the, the, the sacrifice of having good stuff to do. You know, Mass Effect 2 had a lot of stuff to do. But most of it was really, really good. Um, and it followed a really tight and awesome throughput, you know, from start to finish on the, the storyline. And um, especially the end. And I feel like they kind of lost their way a bit in trying to go with where the industry was going, which is more open world games. And I think at the core of it, that is why Mass Effect Andromeda has suffered um, for bad game design. You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Sure. I can just buy that from him. Okay. <laughs> Done. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think Andromeda is a bad game. I just think it was misled. It, it, it put its, um, it put the eggs in the wrong basket of where it should focus its efforts. It's not a bad game. It's just not as good as it could have been. The Moshai said you'd want to hear my experience with the Ket, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vote when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the Ket, we were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later, we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. Hmm. You can't have been more than a child when that happened. I was old enough to know life would never be the same. Okay, interesting. And we have someone, uh, this person? Hello? Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? <laughs> I, yes, I do. Need some? I, I do. Look at this. Look, this is the easiest set of missions of my, of my life. I just I just walk around. I collect a ton of stuff. We look at our map. We go, all right, there's something there. <laughs> and we run around. Is this for Suvi? Is that what that said this was? Yes. Find plant on Aya for Suvi. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll behave. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. <laughs> it's true. It's probably when it know what that means. I don't want a Cobra RPG. That is not a flower. I don't want a Arioc fluid sack. That is disgusting. <laughs> Actually, I should buy that remnant key. I may as well. I have the gold for it. No, what I am looking for. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Found a collectible. I am looking for. Uh. No, 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 no. Right, That's a lot of crafting material and not a lot of plants. Uh, wait, it's the very last one. Of course it was. 
Confirm trade. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Return the plant to Suvi on the Tempest. Good. We're going to have Tempest stuff to do when we are done. What is this one? Visit the Andromeda Initiative Embassy on Aya. We have an embassy now? Oh, of course. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. I get all coming back to me now that we've done this. But what do they want from me? Do they just want to say hi? Hey, Ryder. Nice to meet you. I'm going to have a meeting with you that we could have easily had over the phone. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Uh-huh. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. Yeah. I know what it's like, jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. <laughs> I'm not gonna like this, am I? No more than I do. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I got things to talk about. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. I can make that happen. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, any future plans? What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. Okay. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. She's wise. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. That's what we need in in everything right now. It's, we need wise people. We don't need Director Tan <laughs> being a big butthead. You know what I mean? Because he is kind of a big butthead. So we have uh, these two missions here. So we'll, okay. We'll go down and do this one. That's like right outside where we just were. But then we'll run over to where that museum is. We'll talk to PB. Um, we'll move east. We'll pick up all the other ones. We'll work our way back around, back to the beginning. I'll probably just quick travel down there and then pick up the last part of this one that I'm doing right now. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm. We'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. 
Bam. Easy. <laughs> done and done. Actually, we need to uh, speak to this butthead, too. Look, everybody's butthead. Yeah. Hello? Exultation is just another word for how to kick kill us. And if you're wrong, if we've been killing for them without realizing it. I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. The cat weaponized their victims to make you hesitate. And when the cat begin to exalt your people, what will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me. Okay. Well, you guys you guys do your deliberations. Deliberately. <laughs> I live. Weird. Okay. I scanned the nutrients paste. It's delicious. It's so delicious. All right, service. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Simmer down. He's off. <laughs> I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. Oh my gosh, get back to the I Nexus. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh... That's a weird thing to say. How did he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. Yeah. We're guests here. Bring it down a bit. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put oh up with Oh my this. gosh. When he left, Can I, punch I him tagged in the face? him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Visible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Can you knock this dude out, please? <laughs> Ryder, come on now. Just, just right in the face. Just punch him right in the face. If you can, make sure he gets a concussion. <laughs> hey, that's a little rude. That's, that's a little much. That's right. That's, that's, that's too much. Hello. Pathfinder. Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? <laughs> I see the blastos there. <laughs> I don't I don't know. They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Oh. Whoops. Should have taken it more seriously. You're you're absolutely right. I was not paying attention. I was confused by the blastos. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? <laughs> uh, I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. <laughs> that stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer, it's just this museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm, you might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? True, true. Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, 
I'll get over it lickety split. Be sure you do. You're a handful, even sober. You can handle me, Ryder, whenever you want. Oh my. I think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Oh my. Well then, um, I don't, I don't think I know what to do with myself. Talk to PB's museum on high. Oh yeah, we did that. Uh, we need to go this way. Like I said we're just gonna clear all these out. We'll get we'll get them all done. Um, I'm I'm actually ooh, we got a new email. I'm actually a little surprised that there is even this much to do on Aya. The Moshe said we should speak. You remember the cat's arrival? One of them came to our city on a val to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. Now I know why my arrival had everyone on edge. When I saw you walk with Paran through our city, I hoped that the guards would kill you. I will never trust outsiders again. Hmm. Yeah, I could see why that would be a little bit of a sticking point. You know what I mean? Acquiring Garn antibiotics. Oh, that's right. Right, right, right for the um, the deliver mission. Essentially, is what it is, which is unfortunate because I think they could have done a little bit more with it. Um, but you know, that's what happens, I guess. When you when no you go wide. Clean. Wait. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad. It does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Very reassuring. I can't tell if that's his sense of humor or his honesty. My people on Kadara are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? Uh, sure. Yep. Cool. Confirm trade. Yep. I can't. It just. I don't want to trade anything else back to them. I probably could sell stuff. I probably should sell stuff. Do I actually ever been in here? Interesting. Oh. I have not. Ion bed. Very interesting. I could talk to him, but he is not a part of a quest. Uh, come on, click. Thank you. Scan resistance members. Oh, that's right. That's what I needed to be doing while I was in here. I actually forgot about that, if I'm going to be a little honest here. Oh, hey, Cora. That's the one. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him? Nope. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. You lost someone you cared about. Was it because of the Vassal? That's one way to see it. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, that botanist is kind of a jerk. <laughs> he didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand nothing is free for us. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Okay, what do we look like on the map here? Uh, a whole lot less going on, which is great. Um, I could tr I could quick travel over there, but I should quick travel here because then I can, boop, you know, go down to those two and get those done, and then head back up to the ambassador.